And for someone to come in and tell me that he has arranged everything, I didn't have to do anything for the wedding. I wasn't used to that and it was something really beautiful and I really cherish every moment that we spent together and all the efforts that he, he, he makes for me. I was born in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. I'm half Dutch, half Ghanaian. So I was born in South London. My mum was married for 17 years, but it wasn't very happy and it, yeah, it broke up. I might have been looking at that and seeing things to avoid. So it was important to me that I represent myself fairly honestly before marriage. Um, if the person would be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would know what my rights are. So I looked for someone who was regular in his prayer, that shows his dedication towards his creator. I was looking for someone taller than me because uh, I'm 5'9". My mum doesn't have an extended Muslim family. So, you know, I tried friends, I tried going to events. Um, those didn't work out so well for me, mostly because of the background issue. Most Muslims in the UK are, are South Asian. Uh, most of them aren't too keen on marrying people from other backgrounds. I don't really come from a traditional Muslim family. Uh, where the mother stalks you into getting married or the father has um, a whole queue of prospects lined up for you. So that's why a single Muslim, I suppose, um, there's quite a wide range of people. I messaged her and it's probably just because of like height. I thought I was doing like a height search, like because I'm quite tall, I thought, okay. I had about 10 other messages and after that I obviously checked out the other messages as well, but no one was worthy replying to other than him at the moment, yeah, for me. <laughs> Looks like he didn't know that. <laughs> I think from the moment that we started talking, after two months, we met for the first time. I actually went to the airport um, to receive him. I was very nervous and was on the point of running away. I told him that I, I thought it was very important for him to meet my mother. Uh, my mom didn't have any kind of uh, uh, requirements. She just wanted you know me to be happy, and my mom liked her. So. Some of the things I really like about my, about my wife is that like in everything she does, I can tell that she really tries to think hard about like you know uh, what's benefiting both of us. The most beautiful thing about our relationship as husband and wife is that every now and then after prayer we would sit down, take the time and make dua together. First he starts off making his dua for me and then at a certain point when he's done he gives me a nudge, a, a poke that is my turn. Uh, the main dua I make for my wife is that Allah really rewards her for her patience in putting up with my shortcomings. Because uh, I'm always aware of the hadith which says that, you know, if her husband's happy with her wife, then you know she goes to Jannah. And I'm very happy with my wife. So, yeah. I really ask that Allah rewards her for her, her patience and her support. <laughs>